activity 1.7 let's talk about thermal decomposition of water can you see this plastic mug let's make two holes at its base can you see the rubber stopper these are rubber material and rubber stopper fits in these holes now take two dry batteries break them and separate the carbon electrodes now insert these carbon electrodes in these rubber stoppers connect these electrodes to a 6 volt battery via copper wire one with the positive end of battery and other with the negative end of battery now fill the mug with h2o or water such that the electrodes are immersed now add a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid to the water take two test tubes fill with water and invert them over the two carbon electrodes now switch on the battery leave the apparatus undiluted for some time can you see the bubbles in test tube oh yes bubbles are formed in both the tubes can you see the level of water in test tube the bubbles have displaced water in the test tube so this is an activity showing thermal decomposition of water which produces h2 and o2 means hydrogen and oxygen oxygen is produced by anode electrode and hydrogen is produced by cathode electrode is the volume of gas collected the same in both test tubes no oxygen is dissolved in water so it produces in equal amount that of hydrogen but could not replace water much but how to detect the presence of hydrogen and oxygen if we bring the cathode tube close to the burning candle it will produce a pop sound like this that means hydrogen is present now if we bring the anode tube close to the burning candle it will burn very badly like this and very fast that means oxygen is also present